people think that bike messengers are young, daredevil types, total rule breakers. Usually I'm just thinking of the best way to get from point A to point B in the fastest time possible. My name is Christina Peck and I'm a bike messenger in San Francisco, California. My routine is usually just get up and make a bagel so that it's a quick thing. Take the dog out for a quick walk and then it takes me about like 25 minutes to ride into work. When I started racing and messengering and stuff like that, it was definitely, you know, a couple women that were out there that were doing the job and doing it in this like, you know, unaffected way. And that was like super inspirational for me to want to start racing. I have won two bike messenger championships in co-ed fields. And I think I've been able to accomplish that because I'm really competitive and because I ride really hard at work. I'll check in at our base most days and pick up a radio and see what's going on for the day. Sometimes you're just hanging out until somebody calls a job in. Yeah, so uh, triple through Alabama, but a triple eight for Brandon. Christina's gonna get that. You cool with getting that, Christina? Yeah, hey, I'll go grab it now. Hey, we got H and H to Airbnb. Triple through Alabama, but a triple eight. Brandon at Christina. Here's that base gonna do. Pretty much any messenger has gotten in the, the. Oh my gosh, you just pulled right in front of me and scared the crap out of me, and I thought you were actually gonna hit me. I've been hit twice, and I've been doored once, so it's like that sucks. But it's never been something that I don't think is is worth being a cyclist. The fundamentals of being a bike messenger is simply picking up a package from one location and delivering it to another one. I think what makes a good messenger is the attention to details, because no matter how fast you are, how many lights you blow, if you have to double back and get that package that you forgot or are pissing off a client, none of the fastness or anything else like will compensate for that. There are those days that are so busy that you don't stop and you're just moving, moving, moving and that's like all you can think about is, you know, like who's talking on the radio and what your next move is and where you're going to be going next. You know, we're, we're hourly, we're like all kind of like more cooperative. Everybody wants to work hard because you hear everybody else and you like want to keep going, you know, and so I think that's something that definitely like keeps everybody like moving and on their toes. But people do it for all sorts of reasons, you know, it's like I have a college degree and I still love doing this for the last eight years of my life. So, you know, it's just really fun to ride a bike. And the fact that you get paid to do it and do it for a living is pretty rad. Yeah.